In econometrics, autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity models are used to characterize and model observed time series. They are used whenever there is reason to believe that, at any point in a series, the error terms will have a characteristic size or variance. In particular ARCH models assume the variance of the current error term or innovation to be a function of the actual sizes of the previous time period's error terms. Often the variance is related to the squares of the previous innovations. Such models are often called ARCH models, although a variety of other acronyms are applied to particular structures of model which have a similar basis. Arch models are employed commonly in modeling financial time series that exhibit time-varying volatility clustering, i.e., periods of swings followed by periods of relative calm. Arch-type models are sometimes considered to be part of the family of stochastic volatility models but strictly this is incorrect since at time t the volatility is completely predetermined given previous values. Arch model specification Suppose one wishes to model a time series using an arch process. Let denote the error terms, i.e., the series terms. These are split into a stochastic piece and a time-dependent standard deviation characterizing the typical size of the terms so that the random variable is a strong white noise process. The series is modeled by where and an arch model can be estimated using ordinary least squares. A methodology to test for the lag length of arch errors using the Lagrange multiplier test was proposed by Engel. This procedure is as follows. Estimate the best fitting autoregressive model R. Obtain the squares of the error and regress them on a constant and Q lagged values, where Q is the length of arch lags. The null hypothesis is that, in the absence of arch components, we have for all. The alternative hypothesis is that, in the presence of arch components, at least one of the estimated coefficients must be significant. In a sample of T residuals under the null hypothesis of no arch errors, the test statistic T R squared follows distribution with Q degrees of freedom. Where is the number of equations in the model which fits the residuals versus the lags? If d r squared is greater than the chi-square table value, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude there is an arch effect in the armor model. If d r squared is smaller than the chi-square table value, we do not reject the null hypothesis. Gotch. If an autoregressive moving average model is assumed for the error variance, the model is a generalized autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity Boleslev model. In that case, the Gartch model, following the notation of original paper is given by generally. When testing for heteroscedasticity in econometric models, the best test is the white test. However, when dealing with time series data, this means to test for arch errors and Gartch errors. Exponentially weighted moving average is an alternative model in a separate class of exponential smoothing models. It can be an alternative to Gartch modeling as it has some attractive properties such as a greater weight upon more recent observations but also some drawbacks such as an arbitrary decay factor that introduce subjectivity into the estimation. Gartch model specification The lag length P of a Gartch process is established in three steps. Estimate the best fitting R model. Compute and plot the autocorrelations of by the asymptotic, that is for large samples, standard deviation of is. Individual values that are larger than this indicate Gartch errors. To estimate the total number of lags, use the L. Young box test until the value of these are less than, say, 10% significant. The L. Young box Q statistic follows distribution with n degrees of freedom if the squared residuals are uncorrelated. It is recommended to consider up to t for values of n. The null hypothesis states that there are no arch or garch errors. Rejecting the null thus means that such errors exist in the conditional variance. NGARCH Nonlinear Gartch, also known as nonlinear asymmetric Gartch, was introduced by Engel and Eng in 1993. For stock returns, parameter is usually estimated to be positive. In this case, it reflects the leverage effect. 
signifying that negative returns increased future volatility by a larger amount than positive returns of the same magnitude. This model shouldn't be confused with the NARCH model, together with the NGARCH extension, introduced by Higgins and Bearer in 1992. IGARCH Integrated Generalized Autoregressive Conditional Heteroscedasticity IGARCH is a restricted version of the Garch model, where the persistent parameters sum up to 1, and therefore there is a unit root in the Garch process. The condition for this is EGARCH. The exponential generalized autoregressive conditional heteroscedastic model by Nelson is another form of the Garch model, formerly an EGARCH. The formulation for allows the sign and the magnitude of to have separate effects on the volatility. This is particularly useful in an asset pricing context. Since may be negative there are no restrictions on the parameters. Garch M. The Garch in mean model adds a heteroscedasticity term into the mean equation. It has the specification. The residual is defined as QGARCH. The quadratic Garch model by Centana is used to model asymmetric effects of positive and negative shocks. In the example of a Garch model, the residual process is where is I, I, D, and G, J, R, Garch. Similar to QGARCH, the Gloston, Jagannathan, Runkel Garch model by Gloston, Jagannathan, and Runkel also models asymmetry in the arch process. The suggestion is to model where is I, I, D, and where if, and if. TGARCH model. The threshold Garch model by Zakarian is similar to GJR Garch, and the specification is one on conditional standard deviation instead of conditional variance, where if and if, likewise, if and if, F Garch, Henschel's F Garch model, also known as family Garch is an omnibus model that nests a variety of other popular symmetric and asymmetric Garch models including APARCH, GJR, AVGARCH, NGARCH, etc. COGARCH. In 2004, Claudia Klerpelberg, Alexander Lindner and Ross Meller proposed a continuous time generalization of the discrete time Garch process. The idea is to start with the Garch model equations and then to replace the strong white noise process by the infinitesimal increments of a LE acute VY process, and the squared noise process by the increments, where is the purely discontinuous part of the quadratic variation process if the result is the following system of stochastic differential equations where the positive parameters and are determined by and now given some initial condition the system above has a pathwise unique solution which is then called the continuous time garch model 